All right, so this next example, we've got two vector valued functions here. We want to add them together and see what the result looks like. Okay, so um, let me just give us a scale here. So there's one, two, one, two, three going up. We want to plot these. Um, so again, in, in terms of graphing, you know, we can think about plotting points here, or we can also just think about the the relationship here, um, x is 0.2t, y is 0.3t, thinking of the parametric curve, um, then we can say, well, y is going to be 0.3, and t I can solve for in the x equation as x over 0.2, and that's 1.5 x, right? Um, so that is just a, it's a straight line, right, with slope uh, 1.5, right? So we're going to get a line through the origin. Slope 1.5 looks something like that. And this, of course, is just the unit circle. Uh, now, t goes from minus 10 to 10, but, um, you yeah. know, all that means is we're going to go more than once around the circle, right? Um, so those are the, the two sort of vector-valued functions that we're combining. Uh, when we add them together, if you think about what happens is you can maybe think about the, the circle as I think it's, you know, so think about starting here at t equals zero on the unit circle. And as you go around, well, what's gonna happen is as you go around, you're adding these in. So you're not just going to go around the circle, you're going to go around, but you're also being shifted out. Right? And so what's going to happen is you're, you're going to go kind of around and, and you're going to sort of go around as you go along the line. And then you also, if, if you're going the other way, you kind of get shifted back. And as you get something that, um, looks something like that. Um, I'm not trying to be super precise here in the drawing because that might be a bit time consuming. The book has the nice computer generated drawing to give you a better idea of how this goes. And I'm not going to do the, uh, the other one. I'll just kind of say, well, how is that going to look? Um, if, you, if you scale by five, right, what's going to happen? You're going to, you know, all the vectors in your vector valued function, the magnitude gets multiplied by five. Um, and so you're just kind of magnifying the whole image, right? Uh, instead of a, a circle of radius one, you'd start with a circle of radius five, right? So it's just the whole, it would just be the same picture, uh, but much bigger, 